It is 7.52 now, and it is time for News Extra on k and Bay. It's brought to you by Gehring Civic Center, Western Nebraska's premier multifunctional facility for 20 years. And here is Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Steve, and good morning, everyone. On News Extra today, we're going to talk about one of the issues uh, you will see on the ballot tomorrow if you have not already voted. If you haven't done that early voting bit and uh, if you're going to the polls tomorrow, uh, we're going to talk about the uh, Scottsbluff High School bond issue, and you'll see that on the ballot. And we have Darla Hagem here and uh, Senator John Harms, and they are both on the uh, Vote yes for SHS committee, and we're going to just uh, discuss uh, why they feel that you should vote yes on the bond issue. So welcome, first of all. Thank you. All right, Darla, you get to go first. Um, You've got, first of all, I guess, some people to thank. Am I right? Well, we've just had a a number of endorsements and a number of uh, community and business supporters that we've been very fortunate to have come on board with us, with the Star Herald, the WNCC Board of Governors, the City of Scotts Bluff, Regional West Foundation, um, a litany of business supporters that have either written letters to the editor, uh, wrote a letter of support for the initial school board meeting asking uh, the school board to put this ballot on the bond, or simply having signs in their in their business um, on their property. So we've just been very, very fortunate to have that kind of support. We've also had a remarkable fundraising effort um, that has been put forth um, by Bob Kelly has kind of chaired that and every everything that you've seen, every uh, sign, every um, uh, whether it's uh, the stickers on the on the cars that you may have seen, every commercial that you've seen, everything that's been put in the paper, all of that, uh, all of those funds have been privately raised and donated either from the business community or private individuals. So it's been very um, humbling and and remarkable to see the support from that from the community, definitely from that aspect. Yeah, and you also still have some tours available uh, today. Am I right? Uh, we'll let Senator Harms talk here. Yes, real uh, quick. we do have a couple tours uh, scheduled today, and we would encourage people to go up. Even uh, the, the times that we have, if you just don't have the time and will still want to take a tour, come up. They'll give it to you. And you know what, I, uh, Kevin? I would really encourage people to do that. I didn't make my decision until Pat and I took the tour, and it was a shocker for me. And so we would encourage people, particularly those who are not quite sure what they want to do, and I know there's still people out there because I've spoken to them this weekend, go up and take the tour. See it for yourself, and then you can draw your own conclusion. And, and you know, Kevin, that's the beauty thing about the democratic process. You got a chance to, com- you know, to, to get involved. You got a chance to see what it is, then make your own decision. But I'm telling you, if you take the tour, I know where your thoughts will be. Yeah. Uh, I took the tour as well, and it uh, it'll open your eyes a little bit as to what as to what the situation is, because uh, you get outside the gymnasium and the auditorium, and uh, get into the inner inner part of the high school, and it's uh, it doesn't look anywhere near as nice as say the gymnasium and the auditorium. No, that's true, and they have so many serious issues. You know, this building uh, is 52 years old; it's well beyond its usefulness, and. You know, you've got a HVAC system that's just terrible. You know, can't even hear in the classrooms because it's so noisy. You've got classrooms that are too small. And, you know, probably the biggest issue that caught my attention, uh, Kevin, was the fact that we don't meet ADA standards. It's a federal law. And we're about a lawsuit away uh, in the very near future for someone saying, look, I want my son or daughter to be able to get around through that school. And they can't do that. If you're in a wheelchair, it's just a real – it's a problem. And quite frankly, it's embarrassing. We should never have anything like that in our community. Yeah. I've got a niece that's in a wheelchair, and she's mm-hmm. going to be going to high school down in Denver. And uh, she's going to go to a school where it's ADA, and um, and uh, she won't have any problems. No, but you should be able to go uh, throughout that school in, in any, any classroom. You know, even if you have a, a room where you could get into with a wheelchair, the rooms are too small. They don't even meet national standards. And that's the, that's the thing that really caught my attention. Plus, the fact is if you go into the science labs, Kevin, those labs are in the 40s. And I've talked with the teachers who, uh, at least one teacher who, who teaches there and uses those labs. It's a real chore. I mean, they can't really do what they want to do. And the tragedy about this is, I think, Kevin, is that we have some great teachers there. They do a marvelous job, but we just have not given them the final tools and the toolbox to be able to make that next step to help our kids. And that's what this is about. All right. We'll take a quick break and have more right after this. 
Why trust a newbie with your special day? The Gearing Civic Center, with 21 years of wedding experience, combined with the meat shop's 31 years of cooking experience, have earned your respect with excellent service and delicious food. With a professional staff to assist in planning your special day, call Western Nebraska's premier multifunction facility at 436-6888 or visit us at GearingCivicCenter.com or like us on Facebook. Back on News Extra this morning, uh, we have, uh, again, Senator John Harms with us and Darla Hagem both on the uh, vote yes for SHS committee. And uh, I know one of the things uh, you have talked about a lot is the career academies and just uh, for the for the future of, of the community. You think this is uh, probably the number one thing we have to do, right? I do, and I think this is the single most important decision about this room. Uh, this facility renovation that this uh, city's ever going to make in this decade. I think it's that important. And what you're finding is uh, when the state chamber was out here about a month ago or so and gave a program at Rotary, they started talking about career academies. They brought out very clearly that our public schools across Nebraska, and as well as nationally, are doing a horrible job in preparing kids to be ready to go out into the work world of work. And this is what this is about. And here's the story about all of this. One out of five freshmen in our Scottsbluff Public Schools are non-completers. In other words, they drop out. And the reason they're dropping out is they just don't see the relationship between the world of work and the educational system that we have. And that's the beauty about Career Academies, that it gives these kids an opportunity to explore, to experience different careers. Not only that, Kevin, the state legislature passed a Rule 47, which says, you know what? We think it's this important. We're going to create the regulations and rules and the standards that you need to have. So it isn't something that Scottsbluff Public School just picked out of the wind. It is where we're headed across the state of Nebraska. And the legislature felt it was strong enough to address this issue, which they have done. And the neat thing about career academies would be that if you've been in your um, business for five years, uh, you can get certified, you can come in and you can teach, and these kids can have the opportunity to wor- uh, to job shadow and do all these different things that I think are so important, and you have a chance as as an employer to tell them exactly what they ex- what you expect from them and what they're going to have to do to be, you know, in their uh, business. And quite frankly, they may attract kid- students into their business. Yeah, that's kind of the idea, either right out of high school or maybe in two or four years, depending on what how they – do yeah. it whether they need vocational training or whether they have to go through the whole four-year bit. Yep, that's true. And the nice thing about this thing is they'll build, they're, they're building a cooperative relationship with Western Nebraska Community Colleges, other area vocational schools, and businesses to drive themselves down this pathway. All right. We'll get it back here to Darla real quick. Uh, we were talking about the tours, and uh, also you want to talk about, quite frankly, um folks when you go out tomorrow you know tomorrow is is the day to vote just take some time and do it right absolutely um if you're still on the fence or you're still undecided please 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 take advantage of the tours that are being offered there are two tours available today one is at 11 a.m the second is at 6 p.m tonight and they are more than happy to give you as comprehensive a tour as you need to get all of your questions answered and the second part is that we do anticipate this to be a very, very close race. Even though it's been a very comprehensive campaign, uh, we still need every vote. Every vote matters. Your vote does count. So um, just want to encourage everyone, get to the polls and cast your vote. It's very important that you do that. All right, you guys. Very good. Thank you. Darla Hagem, Senator John Harms on the uh, vote yes for SHS committee. And, uh, I, again, we also encourage you get out there and vote. There's a lot of things. You need to consider tomorrow when you go to the polls. All right. All right. Back to you, Steve. 